The robot barista Ginger has learned to autonomously make coffee and understand any commands using neural networks. A recent expert demonstrated how much neural networks have advanced in the past year. People couldn't distinguish videos created by the OpenAI Sora neural network from real ones. Chinese company Xpeng showcased their flying car X3 in action once again. In the US, a robot fatally wounded a patient during surgery, resulting in her death. Video footage of secret tests of British laser weapons has appeared. Additionally, Dutch company Drone Gods has created the world's fastest FPV drone. These and other high-tech news in one video. The robot Cloud Ginger from CloudMinds Technologies will not only serve as a household assistant, but also a decent companion. The android can brew coffee and vacuum. However, besides its utilitarian skills, the robot also possesses creative abilities. For instance, it can put on a show featuring traditional Beijing opera, entertaining others with songs and dances. Recently, the company released a video in which the Cloud Ginger robot autonomously made coffee. In reality, the human brain contains about 100 billion neurons, enabling us to make decisions easily and enjoy a cup of coffee. However, for robots, even with the use of the most advanced chip technologies, a powerful computer weighing a million times more than the human brain would be required. The robot barista Ginger uses mobile network to link up with the cloud. He not only learns to make coffee but also understands and processes complex languages and commands. Many people have been impressed by this amazing invention, noting that robots are becoming smarter and functionable. Chinese company Xpeng demonstrated the flying car X3 in action once again. The vehicle can now both drive and fly. The car is equipped with standard four wheels for driving, while for flying, rods with screws are attached to the roof of the car. There are a total of eight screws, arranged in pairs on four attached rods. This design allows the car to vertically take off and land. The X3 weighs nearly 2,000 kilograms. Considering what is shown in the video, it can be understood that the rods will not fold. During one of the vehicle tests, the car was able to exit the garage, lift off the ground, fly a short distance, and then successfully land. The goal of the test is to check the stability of the car if one of the motors fails. According to Xpeng, controlling the car during flight is quite simple. The driver only needs the steering wheel and gearbox. The range will be the same as that of regular electric cars. Recently, OpenAI introduced the Sora neural network capable of generating realistic video clips up to one minute long with full HD resolution based on text descriptions. However, a survey made by the Harris X company among adult Americans showed that the majority of respondents could not distinguish AI-generated videos from real ones. As part of the survey, participants were shown eight video clips, five of which were generated by the Sora neural network, while three were filmed with a real-world camera. In five cases, the majority of respondents made mistakes in determining whether the video was created by a human or artificial intelligence. This study emphasizes that content generated by neural networks is becoming increasingly realistic, making it very difficult to distinguish from reality. This raises concerns in society, especially in the entertainment industry, where such technologies can negatively impact the film industry. In this regard, there is growing talk in various countries about the need for legislative regulation of this segment. It is proposed to require users of neural networks to label generated content to avoid misinformation and misconceptions. There is also a question about the possible use of such algorithms to create fake videos involving politicians and celebrities, which could have unpredictable consequences. In the USA, the husband of a woman who died due to malfunctions of a robot during surgery has filed a lawsuit against the manufacturer, Da Vinci. The incident occurred a couple of years ago, when during a surgery on the intestines, the robot controlled by the surgeon accidentally burned the small intestine. Despite undergoing a second operation, the patient did not recover from the injury and died. At the time, everything was attributed to an unforeseen malfunction of the robot. However, before the surgery, patients are informed that such a procedure may lead to serious consequences and even death, so the manufacturer absolves himself of responsibility using disclaimer of liability. Nevertheless, the husband of the victim claimed that he and his wife did not receive all the information regarding the danger of the procedure. So far, the company has ignored the lawsuit and has not appeared in court. We are waiting to see what will happen next and what consequences this will have for the industry. Xiaomi has officially unveiled its first electric vehicle, the Xiaomi SU7. The base version of the car provides an incredible range of 668 kilometers, while the premium version offers 800 kilometers. Earlier, Xiaomi announced that mass production of the SU7 would begin in the first half of 2024. 
After the official announcement, it became known that the car would be released in two versions, SU7 and SU7 Max. The base rear-wheel drive model SU7 features a V6 engine developed by Xiaomi. The car can accelerate to 100 km per hour in 5.28 seconds. The SU7 is equipped with a Keelan battery providing a range of 668 km. In China, the SU7 will compete with the Porsche Taycan and Tesla Model S. Xiaomi intends to enter the top five automotive companies in the world within the next 15 to 20 years. The electric vehicle will hit the market in early 2024. However, the manufacturer has not yet announced the price of the SU7 and SU7 Max. Video footage of secret British laser weapon trials has emerged. The UK Ministry of Defense has decided to release footage captured during trials of the classified Dragonfire laser weapon, which took place in January of this year in Scotland. The video provides insights into the prototype's design and demonstrates the target acquisition system's capabilities in action. The second-generation laser weapon based on Dragonfire technology will be capable of engaging fast-moving drones on land and at sea. The Dragonfire project has been under development by British military engineers since 2017, but details were strictly classified until now. It was revealed that the weapon's precision allows it to hit a one-pound coin from a kilometer away, with each shot costing approximately $13. The video was released recently by the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, DSTL. Despite the successful trials, Dragonfire will not be deployed in the British Army and Royal Navy. It is an experimental prototype, upon which the second generation of laser weapons will be developed. Its appearance is expected in about five years. The Dutch company Drone Gods, in collaboration with the Red Bull Formula One team, has created the world's fastest FPV drone for capturing racing competitions at the pace of racing cars. Custom built, the drone is capable of reaching speeds of 350 km per hour, accelerating from 100 to 300 km per hour in just two seconds. It can navigate the track alongside the race cars, handling turns, accelerations, and braking, enduring peak loads of up to 6G. The development, prototyping, and final version creation of the drone took about a year. All components of the quadcopter's body and frame were manufactured either of carbon fiber on special machines or through 3D printing. The electronics and motors were off the shelf, but manufacturers made various enhancements as requested by the engineers, both to the engines and control schemes. Over time, all of this will appear on the market in commercial products. The weight of the drone was kept within one kilogram, for a device accelerating to 217 miles per hour, enduring loads of up to 6G and averaging 2 to 3G, weight is crucial. During development, the drone's weight was reduced by 10% from the weight of the initial prototypes. Testing showed that the drone could complete a 5.8-kilometer track at maximum settings for electronics, motors, and batteries without overheating to critical conditions. Moreover, it ran alongside the RB20 Red Bull Formula One car, sometimes even overtaking the racing car. It is undeniable that the drone operator required reflexes and reactions comparable to those of a racing driver, if not even faster. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.